G'day viewers, welcome to turn six. If you've made it this far, congratulations. I just need to update the uh, the turn number there. So uh, we'll just go through the losses. The French have lost two units of line infantry. And the uh, Russians have lost both uh, batteries. They've lost a unit of Ulans and a unit of Jaeger. So uh, the, the French did start with uh, 300 points to 250. So that's the situation at the moment. Things are looking uh, okay for the Russians. The French uh, need to pounce now. Sounds the advance. It is the momentum phase. So the momentum phase. Um, it's pretty vital at the moment, and both sides are going to use their commanders in chief to uh, gather more momentum. So the red dice is the Russian. And so oh, the Russians again roll a one, and the French get two. So the French will get two more, and the Russians will get one more. So that's the momentum. To this gorgeous phase. Okay, so now the uh, Russians with a slight advantage in the skirmish phase. Oh, that one in there as well. And I'll tally those up. Yeah, it's hard to roll sixes, I tell you. The, uh, the Russians have won the skirmish phase by one, so they will be acting first, but no extra momentum. Here is a time for action. It is the orders phase. So the French AI now... Um, really wants those cavalry to charge and uh, I don't blame them but it is a momentum chore because it's going to cost them one for the order one for charging and one for the difficult ground but in they go okay so the uh, the French are on uh, six minus one for their casualty and minus four for a bad position so they're on one the U-Lands are minus one for their casualty, minus one for the difficult ground, but plus one for outnumber. So they're on five. And the Cossacks start on five, minus two for their casualties, minus plus one. So they're on three. So one, five, three. So I'll roll for the French first. Oh, they've got a four. That's not too bad. And the, uh, the U-Lands. Oh, there's a six. And the Cossacks, there's a two. So the final scores are five for the French, 11 for the Ulans, and five for the Cossacks. So they are gone, another unit gone. Huzzah! One more disorder for each of those units, but they have claimed, claimed a, a victory there. I have to look at the advanced rules and start playing Hazard, but they're in a bit of trouble, the Cossacks there, and they've taken a few casualties, and they're standing so in front of the guard. They got a bit carried away there. Okay, so the guard will fire with six dice, and the square will have a dice at them as well. So it'll be seven dice on. Fire away, boys. Uh, four hits and we finish off the uh, the Cossacks I think their resolve is only three three hits so that's the end of the Cossacks though at least the guard did something all right so this unit that's been uh, attacking all game they've got three disruption on them but they're going to fire a volley before the uh, the russians have a chance so let's see what happens they will have uh six dice and it shakes oh they've got three hits three oh, we'll see if they can put a decent hit on them oh just one Now they've taken three of that now. One permanent and two others. Okay, so these guys that fell back earlier, they will have a couple of central bases on them. Give them the cover. Ooh, three hits. That'll slow them down, hopefully. Let's see. One extra hit. So they've got two on them now. 
they'll shoot at the guy. They're not in, not uh, up against the defences, so they will need uh, fours to hit them. Uh, four hits. This may have saved them. Saved them from the double charge. Oh, four. Whoa, whoa. Oh, they've already got two on them. So four plus the two. It could be all over. Nice shooting, boys. You can have their smoke. And that was a good volley. So those guys are feeling a bit safer now. The Fletchers here, the defences are looking pretty third bear. There's only one battalion left there. And the others are all in square, cowering from the Dragoons. So things looking good for the French at the moment. So the uh, Russians will interrupt. It seems like the best thing to do. What will they do? So the, yes, the next option is to volley. So they will volley. It's probably put some more disruption out there onto the French to stop them uh, being charged. So the Jaeger will just have one shot at the, um, the Hussars. Ooh, that's a hit. Let's see if they can convert it up. No, that's no good. And the brave defenders, they've uh, they've got three actual disruption on them, but, uh, so that's not going to affect them. They're not uh, shaken yet, so they will need fours. Ooh, they've got four hits. Let's see if they can convert them. Ooh, two. I think the. Um, French will be doing a rally. These guys now have taken five hits. The disorder is building up on turn five, six, five, turn six. So they've taken five now. Okay, so here we've got a shot from the Opal Chini on the um, Dragoons. Closest ones, all oh, they get a hit. And nothing, and a shot from the square. It's a hit. Oh, another disruption on them they've taken four now all oh, the dragoons are in trouble we have to do some fancy rallying here and the column here will have a couple of dice at uh, the line two hits oh no their the resolve was good enough they held on so there is quite a lot of disruption on the table so the uh, the french they will interrupt and uh, there will be a rally somewhere, perhaps in the middle. We'll have a look. Yeah, so these guys, they've uh, taken a hammering and they've um, failed to take the defences multiple times. And they've built up five, five disruption on them. So they're going to try and rally four plus near the enemy. So they rally three, so they've got two permanent hits on them. They are the only ones left of their brigade. So the uh, Russians running out of momentum now. Um, they've got uh, two on there, one that's permanent, and they've got two over there. Uh, so their next option is to rally. There's not much else they could do. They could charge over here, but they've got three. They'd be at a disadvantage. They'd be at a disadvantage there, probably. Uh, so, yeah, they're just going to have to rally. That's all they can do and hang on. So the Brave Defenders, they've got two new disruption that they can rally off on a three-up. And uh, one comes off and one becomes a permanent. The Russians down to two momentum. That three uh, momentum charge cost them at the beginning. Uh, it's just a matter of cleaning up now for the French. Uh, with such a momentum advantage, the French can take their time here. They're going to rally the uh, Dragoons. So one unit has got five on them. So these guys, yeah, these guys, uh, they've got four on them. Four on them. So... Four permanent now, and the other unit's got uh, one. Oh, they rallied that one off, so these guys are okay, but the other guys, 
they failed to rally. They've run out of puff. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think they'll be charging anywhere anytime soon. So I think the Russians will interrupt. They will leave them with one momentum left. But their orders are the, to rally. And these guys that uh, I think they're about to get double charged up there. They've got uh, two on them. So they'll rally on threes. And they rally those off so they are healthy again. So the French will also rally before they try and charge. So this unit here, they pulled back earlier. They've got three on them. So they'll try and get rid of those. They're not near the enemy, I don't think. No, so they'll rally on threes. So two come off and they'll have one uh, real one. These guys over here have got one permanent, but one they can try and rally off, but they are near the enemy. So they'll need a four. Yep, that comes off. And the uh, the guys up in the defences, they've got one from the combat. See if they can get rid of that on a four up. Yes, they do. So the Russians won momentum. They're not going to be, look at the AI. They're not going to be um, doing any charges. They've volleyed already. And everyone has shot that one or two. Rally. They could try and rally with the Jaeger, but they're already in square. Um, they're not charging anyone. They could move to defend the um, objectives. So they could probably do that. But that would cause it in complication because there's so much difficult ground up there i'd say they're holding that one there unless the french can remove that battalion um so they're not going to interrupt i don't think unless they do a heroic charge they can't they've got enough momentum to charge over there so they're kind of stuck so they're not going to interrupt they're just going to hang on to it maybe they could uh do a formation change if required or something so it's up to the french again so the French options are they could have another crack at that square with one unit of Hussars. The other one couldn't get there. Uh, they could have another crack up there, but they would be at no advantage. They'd be at a disadvantage for um, uh, difficult ground. And they could have a crack here. So they're going to have a crack there. They've got uh, six momentum left. So it's probably only two sorts of charges they'll be able to do so this will cost three momentum one for the order one to charge and one for the difficult ground so uh, this battalion's just in range to get up the hill at them and these guys can just wheel around a bit and hit them so this will be the uh a conclusive charge let's find out let's see if these guys can uh make a difference and take those defenses so in they go They've all fired, so we don't need that anymore. So these guys are just going to go up there. Up. Okay, so the Russians will be on a um, six plus one for defending favourable ground. We'll give them that. So they will be uh, in a strong position there, so they'll be on a seven. So, and the... French line that's wounded will be on a five, minus one for ground, minus one for the wound, and plus one for outnumber. And the other one will be six, minus one for rough ground, and plus one for outnumber, so six. So we'll do the Russians first. So they're on a seven, plus five, so they're doing okay. And the French that are on a five, <laughs> they roll a one. And the French that are on a six, they roll a five. So the, um, the Russian defenders are on a 12, so they're going to hold. So they'll hold the position and the other guys will uh, bounce back and take a disruption. So an unsuccessful charge and that cost the, uh, the French three momentum, but it was worth a go. Okay, and then the uh, looking at the AI again, they have uh, one momentum left. And really the only thing they can do this turn left to do is just to try and rally that square. Uh, the, um, the Jaeger are not resolute, I don't think, so they'll just rally on a uh, four up. We'll have a look at their... Let's see what they roll. A three. The last throw of the dice. The Russians will... Uh, the French. The last throw of the dice. The French 
we'll try one last charge. These guys are going to have one last crack at them. So it's going to cost them three momentum, and this will be the end of the game. They've got two hits on them as well, and the attackers have got two hits on them. So they're both on four. The uh, French will be at minus one for the uh, difficult ground, so they'll be on three. And the defenders will be on four, plus one for a strong position, so they'll be on five. So it's five versus three. So the French need a big roll here. The French are the blue. Well, the French win, but uh, it's not by enough. So the French won the dice roll, but the, uh, the Russians will be on uh, nine. Five plus four is nine. And the uh, French will be on three plus five is eight. So the French will bounce back suffer another disorder so we could discuss the final result the um the russian losses have added up and they've taken six losses so their army has broken that was the original uh specification for victory but they still kind of hold the central defenses and the left defenses as well so they have won the uh positional territorial victory but their uh, days are numbered because the Hussars could sweep around and the Guard are yet to commit. So the French are still pushing forward while the Russian army is withdrawing. So well, well done to the Russians. There, some poor dice rolling didn't help them. But the, uh, the French will carry the day as the Russians will withdraw and the French will take the defensive positions. That's the official line from France. <laughs> so uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the AI running the game. I, I enjoyed the game and I enjoyed how the AI worked. Um, if you're lacking an opponent, then um, the AI is a good way to go, especially with these COVID times and so on. Um, I think it helps and it's good to get some stuff on the table and good way to learn the rules i've made uh, a lot of mistakes probably along the way but i've learned a lot so hopefully i'll improve and i'll add more of the advanced rules next time such as hazar and maybe uh, different skirmishing ways to do things so um thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now